Hello everybody. Uh, today, my friend and hairdresser, make my hair look like this, she asked me, so what is digital dentistry? Because she saw my first video and she's like, so what is digital dentistry? Is it something that it's computer generated so it allows it to be better because it's not men designed or made or something along those lines? And I was like, Thank you for that question. So for today, uh, I decided that we're gonna go over what digital dentistry is and how it is revolutionizing how dentistry is practiced and why it's allowing me to provide my patients with a more complete, holistic, and even fun experience, but it's not because computers are doing everything. So let's do this. Um, before we dive into this, remember that this video is for educational purposes only and not for medical advice. Make sure that you get a formal consultation with me or your dentist before making any medical decisions. Really important. So this video is going to talk about digital dentistry. So a few things on digital dentistry. Very important to know. Digital dentistry is not intended to be a replacement for your dentist's good skills and artistic ability, and especially not that connection that a dentist can have with their patients. It's just meant to enhance our capabilities and make us better at understanding as, uh, and being able to see things from a different perspective. If you really want to describe digital dentistry in a broad scope, uh, it's basically any technology that, that's able to incorporate a digital or computer based components um, instead of like mechanical things that we do and a really good example of that is you know the when we take digital impressions instead of you know, the regular analog impressions with the goop and the stone and all of that. I really what it does is improves the efficiency, improves the accuracy in comparison to some of the things that we used to do in, in the analog world. So some people say that the time of drawing sketches on paper and using our hands to demonstrate things to patients are a thing of the past, but I kind of disagree. I still think having all of those tools, but still, you know, there's nothing, nothing will take away your skills, your hands, and, and sometimes I still like drawing for the patients. So in more detail, digital dentistry um, is for anybody that has either an easy situation or a complex situation. So even if it's just a chipped tooth or a broken tooth, because it really allows us to see the big picture and we can do uh, an interdisciplinary, comprehensive, facially generated treatment plan. Basically, if there's one chip tooth, there's an, a reason for it, that something happened. It's not just fixing the chip tooth and that's it. So digital dentistry allows us to see the big picture as well. And that takes me to the most exciting part of digital dentistry that I'm working on right now, that I am actually part of, um, you know, I'm a key opinion leader on, which is digital smile design. Digital Smile Design is, is a pretty breakthrough way of looking at treatment planning for our patients. Basically, how to design the plan for our patients um, digitally. Everything happens digitally. There's no drawing, waxing, measuring. It's all done digitally. The computer and you know, with our videos and our pictures and our CT scanner, our digital um, you know impressions. So it's really, really cool. So. Basic, it's basically a concept that allows us to see the design of that perfect smile that belongs to your face based on your features, based on your personality, based on all the proportions and everything that has to do to you. It allows us to be able to see different treatment plans and different ideas and compare them all together digitally, which would be impossible to do in the analog world. So once we have all of this information together and we're able to plan all of this, we do a test drive. Basically this test drive um, is a little shell of material that, that we try on and then we take some really cool video and pictures to, to really be able to show you what it would look like if, if the patients had that perfect smile they've always wanted. So that's one part of digital smile design. But it's really uh, an idea, it's a concept, and it's, it's so many parts of it. Uh, the other part of digital smile design is that emotional connection to, to their better selves and you know, to allow the patients to visualize what that ideal perfect smile would be like. And that's an opportunity that's almost you know, a gift to be able to see the end before we even begin. There's another aspect of digital smile design 
uh, and that it's being able to, you know, if there's missing teeth or something like that, or patients need implants or really just anything, we're able to, to try that procedure first digitally and plan it all guided so that now we can perform it exactly how we planned it. To implant any procedure, any procedure at all, to that perfect ideal spot before we've even touched the patient. And we are able to 3D print a guide so that we can guide it to that exact spot. So that's really super exciting. So when people ask about digital dentistry and specifically digital small design, is that something that that is for cosmetic cases or Invisalign or veneers or what, what are the types of procedures that, that can be used with digital dentistry and that's a common question that I get and I guess you could potentially say that digital smile design shines when it has to do with your full mouth so if we're designing a full smile or, or redesigning like it's a cosmetic redesign or, or anything that has to do with being able to look at the big picture without the limitations of where things are right now so that's that's really cool, it almost opens um, your mind to all the, the possibilities. And it's all directed and planned based on your face. It needs to be in harmony with your face, how the dynamics of your lips, how you interact um, with your expressions. And, and you could potentially say that it shines with those aspects, whether people want veneers or cosmetic reconstructions or Invisalign or ortho movement. So truthfully though, it's not like I haven't been practicing that way. Any good dentist should have already been uh, trained to treat implant based on the face and, and all the features and everything. It's just that now we're able to see all the possibilities digitally without having to, to do it in an analog, uh, in a model, in a stone model or with wax. So there's no physical work that's been done on the patient. So that's really, really cool. Some patients will also ask me what are some of the practical things that digital dentistry can help me with? Like, can it help with my grinding or my snoring, TMJ pain? And what are some of the problems that could be remediated with digital dentistry? And so I want to be clear that digital dentistry, again, it's a tool that helps me see the big picture, but really it's, it's more on the practitioner and the provider to be able to link everything together. So it's really important that you understand that everything is related. Just because people haven't historically linked teeth to the rest of the body does not mean that it's not linked. I mean, there's many research and studies showing so many links of gum disease linked to heart disease and low birth weight on babies and other medical issues like diabetes and other th things. So it's all totally related. I have so many patients that have told me that their headaches are completely gone after we've been through, you know, really um, studying their bite and fixing their bite. So it's not really that digital dentistry is treating these underlying problems. The truth is, digital dentistry allows us to see where things really belong. And when we put things in that ideal environment with the ideal interactions, then we're fixing functional pro problems. We're fixing the bite, we're fixing a constricted arch, we're fixing, we're widening, giving, opening the airway, letting you sleep better, breathe better, talk better. So, so the benefits of treating an underlying condition or problems that come with it are, are, are something that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, a lot of patients tell me this is the most, most thorough exam I've ever gotten because it's just really important for me to be able to see the big picture. So, anyways, it's a really exciting time right now in dentistry. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions at all. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.